Lindquist and I'm with Artistic Productions. This is now the third installation that we've got for my Vacant Spaces project. I'm really excited. We've got eight visual artists in this show. We've got a live painter. Laura Atreus is up in the front painting. We've got a band out on the center courtyard, Trip Don't Fall. They'll be out playing for the group tonight. And uh, Pompano City Center has been working and collaborating with us to bring art into spaces that have been empty again and uh, happy to be here and always looking for more people so hopefully get the word out and get more people into our space. Thanks for coming. And I'm at Art Night Pompano, and this is artist Lori Pratico. Tell us about your work. Hi, thank you. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank Charlotte Sunquist from Artistic Productions for putting on this great event. Um, I'm thrilled to be able to show my ink series. Uh, it's a series of portraits of women and their tattoos, and they're all done in pastel and graphite. Um, I've been working on the series for about a year now and there's 11 pieces total in the series. It's a continuing series, so I look forward to meeting more women and finding out, exploring the medium more. And now here's Christo with his mass series. Hi. So, um... This is a series of masks that I started with um, a few months ago. And the thing about my paintings is that I never knew what's going to come out. So what I do is that I just put the colors and let the colors dictate the kind of work that's going to appear. And when the, the, once the, um, the, the lines start forming themselves, that's when I start enhancing the pictures. So every single one of those masks were not preconceived. They just happen to, they just come to me. So I call that intuitive paintings because it's coming from somewhere through me, but not from me. All right, we're here now with uh, Donna Haynes here at Art Night Pompano, and she's going to tell us a little bit about her work. Um, it's great to be here. Uh, this piece is called Harvesting the Perfect Male. Um, I've been doing these light constructions um, for a while now where you can actually see inside the object. Um, and they are all about stories. And this one is a story um, through my girlfriend sitting around um, talking about, uh, you know, what would be the perfect male and what would he have to have. And so we were laughing, oh, I wish we could grow them. So that was the catalyst, you know, behind this piece. And inside, down here, there's a woman sowing seeds with all the personality traits of the man that she wants. And on top here, the second level, is a man kind of growing out of a tree. And there's text inside. I always use text in a lot of in my pieces. Um, and you can, you know, it's an interactive piece because you can actually see inside of it. It's very interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your work, Chris. Well, I have um, been photographing for professionally for about a year now, and I just recently did this series called The Bathtub Beauties, which consists of all local artists that are female and tattooed. And Lori, I've been very lucky that Lori Practico has been taking a few of my pieces and drawing them. So I want to thank Lori for bringing me this opportunity and also Charlotte. Okay, now I'm with Laura Atria, and she's doing some painting live here at Art Night Pompano. Um, tell me what uh, you were thinking tonight. Oh, uh, well, right now I'm just, I kind of do, there's going to be music playing, so I'm just going with an overall feeling of what live music, to me, I painted at multiple live music shows, so what that would feel like. And then also, I sketched out a little bit, and 
I'm just really excited for the colors. I can't wait for the music to start. Right now, I'm listening to some hip hop because hip hop always gets me in the mood. But uh, I can't wait for the music to start and just like let go. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So now we're with sculptor Diane Lublinski. Um, could you tell me a little bit about the materials? This is ceramic. Uh, each piece is thrown on a potter's wheel. So it's hollow? It's hollow inside um, and then altered. Altered and, in what way? Well, I cut it up and I and, and add the arms and the head and, and form it into a sculpture. Oh, very interesting. Thank you, Charlotte. <laughs> Hi, I'm with uh, Leanna Yader. She's a fiber artist. Can you tell us a little bit about your process? The process, I'm uh, working in fabric. And I collect uh, many different types of fabrics. And some of the fabrics I actually um, uh, create myself. I might design them online and transfer the pattern or imagery onto the fabric. I, I like to try to look out for different types of fabrics. And obviously you can see I like very colorful fabrics. I have a new series I'm beginning over here called my Fractal Series. I'm excited about uh, taking the fractal, which is the, in nature, the division, uh, sort of like a leaf when you see the stem of a leaf taking off or the branch of a tree taking off and they get smaller and smaller and smaller and a lot of nature uh, that occurs and so I've been playing around with that in my fabric designs. I want to thank Charlotte Sunquist very much for uh, giving me the opportunity to exhibit here. I think this is a wonderful thing that she's doing, opening up this space for the artists uh, to show their work and uh, I hope that she has great success in this. Mm-hmm. <laughs>